Hey guys, welcome back. Guys, so I tried this aboki suya in my house, okay, for the first time. Yeah, so let me show you how I made this suya at home, okay? So you should get your beef. Yes, very important. And wash that with some baking powder and some salt, okay? This will take out blood and every other thing <clears throat> you don't want in that beef, okay? So guys, at this point, I in fact, I washed this thoroughly. Okay, so after washing, right, I took that to my board, okay, and I took out every fancy part I could lay my hands on. <laughs> yes, that's very important, okay? So, after cutting that, okay, so it's time to now cut this into fillets, I mean, cut into a flat kind of shape, okay? So, guys, so... After cutting that, because I, was, in fact, I was really careful, so I don't end up cutting myself. So I was done. So I seasoned that with some of the seasonings I've already combined. Okay, using paprika and some other things. Okay, which I'm going to list them out in the comment section. Okay, so I quickly had to just marinate that, and after I was done, I placed that on my oven rack okay so i'm going to just use some oil that's vegetable oil okay and i'll take that to the oven for another like 20 minutes so 20 minutes this was it yes yeah. so it was time to just dust in some of the yaji okay that's the suya pepper okay so i added some suya pepper in a plate okay and added some oil just to just you get okay so this was the outcome i was done my sea was ready <laughs> so i just dust in some of the yaji to make it get <laughs> looking like the abuki cannot see okay so that was it and i was done thank you for watching